this time uh, I want to pick on people and believe me I enjoy it a lot so I need volunteers and I gonna um, I will walk you through it so uh, uh, who wants to be the first victim dash volunteer who should I pick Nasser, they know that, that uh, I'm planning to pick on people. I think they should. Okay. You can pick by the name. Okay. So Nasser, I'll start with you because they picked on you a lot. So uh, that was a while ago. It was only two years ago. So I don't want to say like it was too long. So I think uh, as like as a simple approach, uh, I'm not sure like if there is like a, a, an, a slide that fits it all because there is a lot of variation, but I think as a common approach, orient yourself, know what, what is like the tracings, where are like the different catheters, and you wanna know if it's a native rhythm versus pacing, and if it's a native rhythm, you wanna know if it's a normal rate, if it's fast or slow, what's the relationship between the atrium and the ventricle, and you wanna look at the pattern of the atrial activation, and if you are pacing, are you actually capturing the chamber that you are pacing at? Are you conducting to the other chamber? So if you are pacing in the atrium, are you conducting to the ventricle and vice versa? And wanna, you want to also want to look at the pattern of activation, how the impulses are, are moving from one chamber to another. And you want to know if it's a, a straight pacing versus extra. And I think this is like was like our summary slide uh, from the last talk. So uh, like these are like the basics in the basics of intervals. So your AH, it's a local channel. It's you measure it like at the local HES. It's uh, sorry, sorry, the AH, it's a local interval. You measure it at the HES, and the HV, it's the from the HES signal to the any ventricular signal. So if it is too short, you want to think about mm -hmm. pre-excitation. Too short, what I mean by too short, if less than 35 milliseconds. If it is too long, that predicts hot block. And then the pacing maneuver. So as I mentioned, like for ventricular pacing, we talked about central activation and eccentric activation. And for atrial pacing, we talked about atrial extra stimuli and we defined what is a jump. So the jump is a 50 millisecond increase in the AEH interval with a 10 millisecond reduction in the S1 to the S2 train. And also we talked about the red means. So I think today I just want to focus on like on symbol pacings. We may show some red means, but like it's going to be like very simple pacing. So case one. So now, sir, so what do you see? Uh, okay. We see the service ECGs. Uh, there is no, I mean, um, Oh, yes. So I'm sorry. Uh, so I, that's a, just give me a second, Nasser. I'll give you, uh, uh, I'll give you the, the markers. I think for me, I know which, which signal, but like, just give me one second. Apologies, everyone. You can't orient yourself with this. Yes. Okay, no sir. Apologies uh, for that mistake, but it is more to the slide uh, uh, it took me a while to make it. Okay, so uh, as you mentioned, like you have your surface ECG and the next step you want to orient yourself. So every lab does it differently. So if you are uh, like, I'll hold, I'll, I'll hold the cursor and if you just want to uh, walk me through. So usually we tell people, look at the surface ECG first, but let's orient ourselves. So this is your surface ECGs. Usually leave lead one, lead two and V1 and V6. And this is your right ventricular apex catheter. This is your HRA catheter. This is your his distal, his proximal. And this is your coronary sinus catheter. CS19 point where? Uh, proximal or distal? 
that is proximal, 9, 10 proximal, 1, 2 are distal. And CS1, 2 is distal, and CS proximal is closer to the septum, like closer to the middle of the heart, and CS1, 2 is usually distal toward the left atrium. Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay, so you oriented yourself. So looking at the surface ECG, what do you see on the surface ECG? This is, I think, um, a sinus rhythm. There is a P wave with, followed by a QRS complex. Okay. And so it, it looks like, narrow, I think. As you Not said, like, like it's a narrow complex, normal, like at a normal rate with a positive P wave in one and two and biphasic, more or less biphasic in, in V1. So that looks like more like as a sinus rhythm. So if you want to walk me through the signal, so where, what do you see? So the signal should start where? If it's sinus high right rhythm. atrium. So high right atrium is the earliest. And then yes. what's next? Then the, uh, the uh, HES. So the HES. So if you look at the HES catheter, so this is the HES, the HES distal and HES proximal. So the HES proximal, you see the A, Yes. What is this? This is the uh, H. This is the HES bundle yes. signal. Yes. And what is this? The V. This is the ventricular signal. Okay. Yes. So what is this? This is the A. Exactly. So this is like we're looking at the coronary sinus catheter. So you see two signals. So this is the A this is and the, the V. So, and if you see this is A, you're getting closer to the HES, which is the anterior component of the septum. You're like also having an H, but the A is moving and you're getting to the posterior aspect of the septum and you have like an atrial signal within the CS. And like, and also like the impulses are moving from the right atrium to the left atrium. So CS 9, 10, 7, 8, 5, 6, 3, 4, and 1, 2. Like you may see some shiver on, like the, those, like those two, like are more or less like at the same time. I have an explanation, but you guys don't need to know it. And then this is like your ventricular signal at the his catheter, but at the same time as your ventricular signal at the RV catheter, and also like it's the same time of the QRS. So, and also like the reason that you see that the his activation that the activation uh, that the activation is more or less like at the same time. So if you look at this is a V, this is a V, this is a V, and this is all like ventricular activation. It all comes at the same time because the impulses are goes through the conduction system, which is very rapid, and like and you see almost like simultaneous ventricular activation throughout. Any questions? This is a normal sinus rhythm. This is normal sinus rhythm. Uh, and this is like, just like as a simple, basic, this is like the first thing that we see, uh, like when you put catheters inside the heart, like in a normal person. Okay. okay. So now, sir, we're not done. Okay, so I'm gonna move the cursor. So I wanna measure the AH and the HV. So I want you to help. Okay, so let's start with the AH. So how do you measure the AH? So from the HES, I mean the... Um... Okay, so the HES, so we put a line on the HES. And where is, where should I put, we're talking about the AH. So what did we say about the AH? From the HRA. So AH, are you sure? So is this, is this your AH interval? Yes. So. So we, uh, so there is a big distinction between the AH and the HV. So we say the AH is a local signal that is measured only at the HES channel. So let's take it back. So if we wanna measure the AH, so you put the line on the HES, which is right, but like your A should be the A in the HES channel. It's not your HRA because there is like another interval from this to this. Can you tell me what this interval represents? So you have from the A at the HRA and to the A at the HES. What does this interval represent? Is it the intra sign, the, uh, the conduction intra the, um, inside the SA node? I, I don't think that you can measure that. That's a good point. 
but like just remember intraatrial i mean yes exactly it's within the atrium so if you if we look at this like uh, this like uh, 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 like this uh, graph so like so impulses start starts here within the sinus node and you measure your a and then this impulse have to travel to the HES where you measure your atrial activation next to the HES catheter. So this interval, like this one, so from the, from the A at the HRA to the A within the HES, that tells you that, that tells you about the conduction within the right atrium. We rarely measure it. It could be long in someone who have atrial myopathy but that tells you about the conduction within the, the right atrium itself. But like the proper way of measuring the AH, it's simple. You put a line at the HIS, that's 50% of it. But like the A, it's actually the, the earliest atrial activation within the HIS bundle catheter. So this is how you measure your AH interval. So, and this is like, is about like, so every like small square here, I just want to zoom. Uh, oh, this is not the best. Okay, so I'm going to take this to the smallest because I find it easier. So I'm just going to take this home because I find it easier to, uh, to do it here. So this, like each small square, like is about 100 millisecond. So your AH interval is around 80 millisecond. Okay. So now, now let's measure our HV interval. So now, sir, walk me through. So from the H in the HES catheter okay. to the first V. V where? The first one. So like here in maybe so, so, the uh, RV. Okay. So uh, sure. So you just put the line in and you find your earliest V. So and like, and here your earliest V happens to be at the RV apex. So this is how you measure your HV. So it is not, so uh, you see it all the time. People will measure it like to the V here, but like this is not an actual HV because like they measure it to the V at the Hesmondal catheter, but the proper way of measuring it is like to any V, which as you said, like it's probably like at the RV apex. So that's the big difference. So when you measure your AH, it's within the HES bundle catheter. But if you measure your HV is from a HES, which you only see it like at the HES bundle catheter, but like you want to measure it to any V you see, and here it happens to be the V from the RV apex. Okay? Okay. Beautiful. Thank you, Nasser. Uh, okay. So... So let's uh, take this one. I need a volunteer. Nasser, you pick. They're your friends, so you can pick on them. Like I feel bad for picking on people. So, Look, and you are, you're, the, you're the chief fellow, are you? Yes, doctor. I I will take this one. Okay, beautiful. Can I can I know your good name? I am uh, Ahmed Auni from King Faisal. Oh, Ahmed, Ahmed. Ahmed. Okay, so let's take this. So Ahmed, I'm like I'm just presenting very simple stuff. Like as what NASA did, orient yourself and let's start. Okay, so what do you have? Okay, we have a surface and lead one to V1 or V6. Surface lead okay. showing it's showing a spike of pacing, obvious. Okay. Uh, it's pacing all over. All the all the beads is pacing in the surface. Uh, okay. And uh, we have also in the high right atrial. I will go to the high right atrial. So, so we have look at like look at the channel. So you have RV it's apex, RV, yeah. you have HRA, and you have your HES distal, HES proximal, and then CS nine ten was taken off. So seven eight, five six three four and one two. Okay. So like with pacing, so where are you pacing? Yeah, the spike is in the high right atrium. Okay. The, so the first is spike is coming with a spike on the surface ECG. Uh, like you spike. mean, uh, so this is your HRA. You uh, see the spike here. Okay. Ah, uh, there is uh, yeah, there is spike. You the, 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 like you yeah. see it here at the HES. Yes. And you see it at the CS. Yeah. So where is your actual pacing? And the RV. 
Exactly. So this is like when we pace in the AP lab, I know like when you look at the surface CCG, you look at this, these spikes, but this spike can try like this, like because like it's a spike and also depends on the filtering, you can pick it up like on all the channels. So what you're actually looking for is this structure. Like it's like you see the spike and then it goes up and then it goes down. Like it's almost like a square. That's like the pacing stimulus output in the channel that we see. So you are pacing your RV. Okay. So we agreed like that we are pacing with the RV catheter. Are we capturing the V? Yeah, yes, it's captured. Exactly. So when you can, as you said, like you can see it from the surface ECG. So like we're pacing the RV, and like and we're seeing like a pacing stimulus output, a wider QRS, and it is consistent throughout. So we're pacing the RV and we are consistently capturing the RV. Okay. So why we are doing that? So like, as I mentioned to you, when we pace in a chamber, we wanna see how the impulses travels from one chamber to another. So we're pacing from the RV. We expect the impulses to go to the right atrium. Are the impulses going through the, to the right atrium or not? Uh, it's going for, from uh, starting from the uh, from the from the his and from the RV the impulse is going and it's propagated to the so to the first like let's that. answer it one by one I'm walking you through yeah are we conducting to the atrium or not yes or no not to, to the atrium yes so we're pacing from the RV are the impulses traveling from the atrium to the ventricle? You, like the easiest answer, you look at the HRA signal. So this yeah. is your atrial, this is a catheter within the, within the right atrium. So you're pacing here and you see a signal. Oh. So this is like an atrial signal and yeah. you see it again and again and again. So it seems that the impulse, well, is, there is an impulse in the atrium so the question, is this impulse related to the pacing or it's no. just like it's a random sinus beat? And you see the relationship between the pacing and this signal, is it constant? So the interval from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and from to here to here, is it constant? Yes. Yes, so this has to be caused by this. So the impulses, you are capturing the ventricle. So the impulses are traveling to the atrium. So we know that like we have one-to-one -one V to A conduction. Now the biggest question is how the impulses are coming from the ventricle to the atrium. Is it coming through the AV node or is it coming through somewhere else? So what is the question? Uh, so how do we answer that? Like we talked about concentric versus eccentric activation. So where is your earliest atrial signal? We will, uh, we will look at the earliest is in the HIS. Okay, is it this one? Yes. Are you sure? This is the V. Exactly. Is it, so it is actually this thing. So the big mm -hmm. thing, the big signal is the V. The first one. Yes, so the big one is the ventricle, and this is your earliest atrial activation here. Oh, okay. your early, can you see it? Yes. It's this signal. So the earliest atrial activation is actually here. So if you see, like if you draw, like it's it, like you don't want to eyeball it, we always draw a line. So like in the EP lab, we always draw a line. Sometimes like we, eye, we eyeball it and we cut corners out of his here. And he knows that I don't like to cut corners, but uh, like you always want to draw a line and you can see that your HES is earlier than your HRA, your HES, your atrial activation in the HES, and it's earlier than your coronary sinus activation. So this embolsis has to go through the AV node. So this tells you that like you have a one-to-one -one conduction and your conduction is central. It is through the AV node. So that probably tells you that you don't have an accessory pathway. Just like, I just want to simplify it. There is always like some tricks, but like that tells you that you have a, a concentric activation. Any questions?
Are we good? Clear. Okay. Okay. Who's who's the victim? Yes, I can't take it, boss. Okay, good. I am Salah Basiri from BSC. Just want to take the line with me. Ah, okay. So, uh, your name? My name is Dr. Salah Al Basiri from BSC. Ahlan, ahlan, Salah. Sharaf. Allah is the doctor. Ah, this is uh, uh, this is intracardiac tracing with surface ECG from the from the channel one, three, and B one. And okay. uh, intracardiac tracing uh, from the RV and the high uh, uh, right atrial channel and the his proximal and distal and coronary sinus from uh, 9, 10 to uh, 1, 2, from proximal to is proximal. distal. 9, 10 is proximal and 1, yeah. 2 is distal. Okay. So is it native rhythm or are we pacing? This is, this is as we see here, it is from the service EC and from the RV uh, marker, this is the base in the RV. Okay, and you see this square, so you're pacing from yeah. the RV. Okay, good. Yes. So sure. are you capturing the ventricle? Uh, there is capturing for ventricle, yes. Yes, you can see pacing stimulus. Yes, you can see in, surface, yeah? so in the service EC as well as those in the intracardiac tracing. Okay, so I will, we'll come back to the intracardiac tracing. Like, how do you prove that you are captioning? Like the okay, okay. There is, you there is in service ECG, sure, there is a, the, the, the ventricle is captured. Okay, good. So now, are you conducting to the atria? Yes, there is a cons consistent in first one, second, third, then fourth. Come on, and, okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show the same slide again. So, okay. that was a trick. So. The, yeah, there is, but I think there is some drop here, but in the, in the, in the, in the, before the, yeah, after the fourth one. Yes, so like you lost conduction here. So like you yeah. see at the beginning, like you see like a stimulus and you see like, the, like a, yeah. you have like an A and then a stimulus, you have an A and a stimulus. Yeah. Stimulus a, and the A. Stimulus but, and you have like and there is no. A. No, uh, yes. Okay, we'll come and we'll talk about this A, but like, what, what do you think? So I think like if you think about this tracing, you have like more than one component. So here, like you're pacing and you're conducting to the A. Yeah. So you know, you probably can have an idea where if you have a normal conduction or not. Like if you're conducting. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it is normal conduction, the earliest mm -hmm. one in the sign, in the his. Okay, so in the line. Yeah. So your earliest signal is in the HIS, yeah. is earlier yes. than the A, and it's earlier than the coronary sinus, so you're going through the A. <coughs> right? Yes. So, yeah. so like what, what is happening here, we do this a lot in the lab. We want to know yeah. what's the refractory period of the AV node through yes. a retrograde. Yeah. Oh, the retrograde, retrograde uh, yeah, retrograde basing from the ventricle to, to check the effective refractory period. From the retrograde, leave from the ventricle. This. Okay, good. So, what is this speed then? This is, um, uh, this is both, uh, I think it is echo beat. Okay, so let's take it back. So, you, uh, we always draw a line because we don't want to make conclusions. So, if we draw a line in this beat, where is the earliest A? The earliest A and the S. Okay, so let's draw a line on this beat. Where is the earliest A? Earliest A in the... Earliest A in the... Because the like... Piece. So, let, let's in talk about... Okay, let's talk about yeah. it. Is this... This is A, okay? Yeah. Is this A or V? This is V. Exactly. So if you see it here, that's the V when you have no A. This is V. So yeah. this is V. And this is probably like your A. So let's draw a line. Where is your earliest A? This A in the this. No, no, wait, 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 wait. The, the earliest A in the, in the coronary sinus. Okay, so this is your A. Coronary okay. sinus pro, proximal. 
Okay. What about this? This is followed. This followed this uh, coronary sinus. So it is between the sinus let's take, and. Let's take a let's take a step back. So. So we say that these ones conduct. Okay. Yeah. This locked. This is locked. We see an A here. Where is this A coming from? We draw a line. This is, yeah, yeah. This is the A from uh, the area of uh, coronary sinus and the, uh, the right AT. Okay, so where is the earliest? So you have to tell me. The earliest, the earliest in, in the coronary sinus. So this is your coronary sinus, okay? Mm. What about this? Is this, uh, this is way early. The, 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 yeah, 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 sorry. The earliest in the, in the right atrium, yes. In the HRA. So this is a yeah. sign. So if you see. This is the sign. Sin the sinus mm. Because yeah, 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 the earliest is. signal is in the HRA. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yes, yes. Followed yes. by a hiss. Followed yeah. by a coronary sinus. Yeah, that sure, sure. That's on the first slide. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you start from the A, followed by a hiss, followed by a coronary sinus. So we see this all the time. So we don't, well, we don't want to jump to a conclusion because, oh, is it like an echo beat? Like if it's an echo beat, so the echo, the earliest activation should be within the HES if it's an sure, sure. echo. Yes. But like here, the earliest activation in the HRA, and you don't want to get full because you think, oh, is it the HES? But you know that this is the V because like you see here, you have, you have no A. And this is exactly the V. So this has to be the V, okay? Yes. So this is a sound of speed. Any questions? So, so I know guys, like we always have been taught to think about like pathetic condition, you wanna know the answer like in, a, like in a second, but like when it comes to EP, it's a puzzle. It's really a puzzle. So are we good? Yes. So what's the abnormality here, doctor? This is a normal response or? Like this is normal. Like you guys like are just like breaking the surface. So you don't want to see abnormalities. Like uh, I think because like for you to know, like it's just like, it's like, it's just like simple easy. Like this is like a normal behavior. We see this all the time. Like when we, when we do the pacing, but like you have to know what is normal to tell what is abnormal. Okay. Because like literally like on Friday, like on Wednesday, like we had a crazy case, like we got like our head scratched, three consultants. We had to scratch our heads just to figure out what's, what was going on. But like you have to go back to the basics. Okay, this one. I need a volunteer dash victim. I just wanna grab my red line. I think red is very threatening. I'll pick green, make it green probably. Okay, so I'll just make it green. Okay, do I have a victim? Uh, someone, chat, chat. Do I have, uh, do I have a volunteer? Nasser, you pick. Russia, Dr. Russia. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Assalamu Russia. Um, okay. We, yeah. Um, we have first the service ECG of lead one, two, V1, and V6. Okay. And then we have the right ventricle. Okay. And and then the right atrium, and okay. then the head and the proximal coronary sinus, and ending with the distal coronary sinus. Okay. Um, so, is it native rhythm or are we pacing? It looks like there is a pacing in the before the P web. Okay. So exactly, and if you see the HRA catheter, like you saw, like you see this box-like things. So like that's the pacing stimulus output. So you were pacing from the highlight atrium. Okay. Yeah. So are we capturing the atrium or not?
Because like that, the yeah. child, can you see a P wave? It may be like difficult for you to see a P wave, but you have catheters inside the heart to tell you if you are capturing the atrium. Okay. I think there is atrial activity in the his. Exactly. So exactly. So if you see, this is like your stimulus. And like, and you see like in the his catheter, like you see an A, and like, and as you said, like you see an atrial activation, like in the his. And you see the relationship between this spacing stimulus and this A is constant. It's the same here, it's the same here, and it is the same here. So you have to be capturing the atrium. Okay? Yeah. So, so you are pace, you're capturing the chamber that we are pacing. So are you conducting to the other chamber? Yeah, there is a ventricle activity in the RV. Okay, so you're conducting to the ventricle. Okay, so how are you conducting to the ventricle? Are you conducting through the AV node or are you conducting through a different pathway? I think through the AV node since we have ventricular activity in the HIS. Uh, so that's a good point because uh, that, that's a good point because the, the, uh, I think that's a really good point, but I think the better way of saying it, like if you're conducting through the AV node, so the A has to go through the, a, the AV node, which is you, and the AV node is marked as the HES bundle, and then from the HES bundle, you go to the ventricle. I think that's probably the better way of phrasing it. Because if you see, like you are pacing, we're capturing the atrium, and this is your ventricle because this is the V. And what is this? The His. That's the His. So like you're going, so A, H, and then V. And then to, to be sure that you are not bypassing the V, that you are not bypassing the His, how do you know that like you're actually going through the AV node? What do you have to measure? The, what in the A, H. No. HV. The HV, exactly. Because the HV is the conduction through the AV node. And if you have a pathway that you are going to bypass, uh, where is the slide? Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, that, that's the one. Oh, good time. Okay. So this is like the example that, like we, that we talked about before. So like this is like a, so this is how you measure your HV. So this is like, tells you like what the conduction within the AV node. And this is, uh, oh, this is what happens when you have a pathway. So uh, I'll just, I uh, think because there's some animation. So if you see like on this surface ECG, like you have a, you have a sinus beat. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, but like, I, I don't know what's this. So that's probably like your sinus speed. That's probably a T. So that's probably like your sinus speed. And then you have like a YQRS complex with a very short PR interval. But, uh, and if you measure your HV here, your HV is going to be like more or less ne negative. Because I think what happens is, so impulses goes down from the SA node. And then you, like, we all, we normally have some inherent delay within the AV node. It's like it's more of a protective mechanism. It's related to the way that the AV node uh, tissue is. It's like it's more calcium dependent uh, conduction. So the impulses will go fast through the AV node, through the pathway. So this is a patient who have an accessory pathway. So impulses go fast through the accessory pathway, engage the ventricle. You start your V and at the same time, so the, the pathway, the pathway conduction will always beats your uh, AV nodal conduction. So your ventricular activation will start at the same time or even before your his activation happens. So that's why we measure that uh, you, you could see a his, but like the his is not actually, is not actually a conduction through the his. Uh, uh, like it's actually like the, 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 uh, the pathway conduction is beating your his. So the marker to tell you that like you're actually going through the AV node is your HV. Because like in this case, if you measure your HV, you could see, clearly see your HES here, but that doesn't mean that the conduction is going through the AV node. Like the conduction have already gone to the ventricle through the pathway, 
and the Hiss is just like being activated, but the, but like the impulses are not gonna go through the AV node because the AV node, the, the distal conduction part will be refractory uh, through the uh, pathway activation. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so that, 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 I think that's why, like, so seeing a Hiss, that doesn't tell you that the conduction is actually going through the Hiss. You actually have to measure your HV uh, interval. Okay, so, and I think if you measure your HV here, so uh, your HV interval, so it's from the Hess to the earliest V, which ended up like probably something on the surface ECG, that your HV is normal. So you don't wanna measure your HV to here because this is wrong. You wanna measure it like from the Hess activation, the earliest Hess activation to any V, which is probably like on the surface ECG. So this is how you measure your HV. And I can tell you the HV is normal, okay. So what is happening? What, uh, what form of pacing are we doing here? Are we doing straight pacing in the atrium or are we doing extras? Um, I think straight pacing. Because so usually with straight pacing, uh, so straight pacing like is what I mean, when we do straight pacing, it's like at a constant cycle length. Let's do 400 or 600 milliseconds. But like if you see, so uh, as I mentioned to you, so every, every like dash, dashed line is about 100 millisecond. So this is like your stimulus, like it's almost like on the dot. So 100, 200, three, four, five, six, and you get, pay, you pace again. So the timing from this stimulus to this stimulus is 600 millisecond. Okay? Mm. And then if you take this, so one, two, three, four, five, and you're not up to six, so they're actually shorter. So if you measure it, it's around like 560 milliseconds. So you're actually, this is what we call S1, S2. So like you have a drivetrain of six beats, of like of six or eight beats, and then you throw an extra. This is what, uh, where is the slide? Sorry, like I'm gonna jump back and forth, back and forth, just to remind you guys of what we did, uh, uh, what we talked about, about the atrial extras, yes. So this is like, uh, so this is what we, so when we pace from the atrium and we also do it, do it from the ventricle. Uh, how do I hide this? I can move it, okay, good. So, so when we pace from the atrium, we do like a we like we do what we call like atrial extras. Like and the goal of it, like we want to stress the conduction of the AV node, just to see if we have a, a a fast pathway and a slow pathway. So what we usually do is we pace in the HRA and we call it like S1, S1, S1. So we pace at the HRA. So with every pace, we measure. So we have a pacing stimulus. I like, and this is like your, uh, your uh, HES bundle catheter. So we have an A and then an H and we measure the AH interval. I uh, like um, 600 millisecond after we pace again and we measure the AH interval. And then 600 millisecond we pace again. This is the last pace of the driving train. And then we throw an extra. So, uh, so this, is like, uh, this is like 100 milliseconds and then we pace with an extra that is shorter than the 600 milliseconds. And like, and here we pace at 400, and this, this is what we call the extra stimuli or the S2, and then the AH interval will, it will get some form of decrement, like uh, the AH will get a little bit longer. Okay, make sense? Yeah, yeah. So we repeat it again, and we decrease the interval from S1 to S2. So with every pace, we measure the AH, uh, like another pace, 600 milliseconds, we measure the AH. Another pace, we measure the AH. And then we bring the extra 20 millisecond more. And then the AH interval will get longer. And uh, like uh, the, the lengthening is only by five milliseconds, which is an expected deck. But then like the more, the closer we bring the S2, like all of a sudden, like we brought it down by 10 milliseconds from 380 to 370. And then all of a sudden, like we see that the AH interval is, has blown up to from 125 to 180. And that's by definition, 
tells us that there is a jump. The jump is defined as a 50 millisecond increase in the AH interval with a 10 millisecond reduction in S1, S2 interval. So the AH interval has increased from 125 to 180. So that's a 55 milliseconds. And the S1 to the S2 interval, just we dropped it only by 10 milliseconds from 30, 380 to 370. So that's the definition of a jump. And I think uh, this is an example of a jump. So like here, like we're pacing, uh, like here we're pacing from the HRA. So we pace and we have AH, pace again, AH, pace again, AH, pace again, AH, and then we bring this closer, uh, like this is like you, our S2, and we see all of a sudden our AH have blown up by more than 50 milliseconds so that's by definition is a jump. And what is happening when we do our S1, like so with, uh, with S1, the impulses goes down through both the fast and the slow pathway. That's like normal. But like as the impulses goes faster through the, through the faster pathway, it conducts all the way down to the ventricle. And that's what gives us like the short AH. But in the same time, it goes retrograde into the slow pathway and like you, you will have some form of collision and this like this activity will die and you will never see it. But like what happens with the jump, so this, uh, this uh, early beat will block through the fast pathway and it goes through the slow pathway and that's what gives you the long AH interval that the jump actually translates into the presence of a slow path. Makes sense? Yeah. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, I think you're off the hook because I explained everything in that trade set. So, so what do you see here? So we agreed that we are pacing in the HRA. We are capturing the atrium, uh, like, and we're conducting to the to the V through the AV node because the HV is normal, and we throw the next run. And look at your AH interval here. So your AH is this. Okay, this is your AH. Yeah. And then if you wanna measure your AH here, it's all of a sudden. Prolonged. It's all of a sudden, not even prolonged. I think you have a definition of a jump. I have to measure it. Yeah. Like here, like you have 100, 200, probably around 250 milliseconds. And like, and you're up from about 190 milliseconds to 250. So by definition, you have a jump. More than 50. More than 50. You, so I like, technically you wanna see the beat before it, uh, but like by technically you have what we call a jump. You have that confirms the presence of a slow path. Okay? Yeah. Thank um, you. No problem. So, okay. Let's do this one and then uh, I'll see what you guys want to do. So I uh, need another victim or a volunteer. Abdullah Tayyip. Hello, Abdullah. Hiyak. Hello, Hiyak. Hello, Abdullah. Go ahead. Uh, yes. Uh, this is a tracing starting by surface uh, ECG. And, okay. Uh, uh, with and for cardiac monitoring, the arm started from uh, right here. Uh, uh, SRZ. Okay, so you have, we have a surface ECG, we have an RV, HRA, HES, and the CS. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we are... Okay, go ahead. We are, we are basing in the high right atrium, I think. Okay. Uh, okay, we are pacing from the HRA. We can see like these pacing stimulus output. Okay, good. Are we capturing the atrium? Uh, uh, yes, we are capturing. Can I prove it to me? Uh, in the, uh, there is uh, A in, in the coronary. Good. So if you see, this is your pacing, and you see like a signal here in the coronary sinus. Yes. You see here and you see it here and it is very consistent 
So you have your cap, your, and also like you can see it in the HES here. Yeah. Like, a, in the, like in the HES, like in the HES catheter, but like you, cl you are clearly capturing the HRA. Okay, so, uh, so you're capturing the A. With this beat, are you capturing the A? Yes. Okay, what about this beat? Yes, we are capturing. Okay, what about this yes. beat? Yeah, we are uh, capturing. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. Okay, are you conducting to the ventricle? Are you conducting to the other channel? Uh, we are conducting to the ventricle. Yeah. Okay, so how are we conducting? It's the, uh, it's the, it's the, but. Okay, are we conducting through the AV node? Are we conducting through a pathway? How do you know that? Uh, we are conducting through uh, through the uh, AV node. Okay. How, okay. How do you know that? Tell me. So uh, if conducting through the AV node, so the A has to get to a HES and the HES has to get to a V. Can you see a HES signal? Uh, yes. A. This is your stimulus. This is your yeah. A, and, and that's your it. HES, and that's your V. Yes. And you want to measure your HV because you want to make sure that it is not short. So this is your HES, okay? And this is like we're going to draw a line on the V. Is it this V? Uh, is this how we, we have, measure our V or no? No, we, we have earlier. Okay, so you get like to the earliest V. Beautiful. So this is how you measure your HV. Okay, so on the HV here, probably like a, around 40 milliseconds, I'll tell you that the HB is normal. Isn't okay, normal. so are we conducting with every pacing stimulus? Uh, so this one conduct to the V? Yes. Okay, what but about this? The, the fourth one doesn't conduct. The... Yes, so the fourth one, but did we capture the A? We captured the A, but... Exactly, we captured the A, and there is some changes you guys don't need to know it, don't need to know it, but like we captured the A and we did not conduct to the V. So that's yes. what happens. So like what we do in the AP lab, like uh, we, uh, where is, uh, yes, so that's what happens. So like here, like when we bring, like when we bring the, uh, the, the extra stimuli closer, we actually belong through the AV node. Like we actually belong to the AV node. Like it's a normal property. Like if you see, you saw, you saw guys when we put extra beat earlier, we block at the fast pathway and we conduct through the slow. If we keep bring it earlier, we actually block at both when we can capture the A, but it doesn't go to the V. Okay? One more slide, and I think that's gonna be close to an hour. I'm happy to do more, but uh, I don't think that you guys are gonna regain. Um, okay, let's do this. Dr. Shahad. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Um, okay, so basically we have um, uh, starting with uh, uh, service ECG, lead one, two, and V1. Then we have intracardiac basing, the RV and H, uh, RA, HES, and CS. Okay. So we have, uh, uh, there is basing. Uh, and where are we pacing? Um, I think in the HES. But let's, uh, no, actually in the HRA. Exactly. So we're pacing in the HRA. So yeah. we're pacing in the HRA. Are we captured? Uh, yeah, there is. Um, you can actually so, see the key wave here, but like if you see, like if you don't see an A in the HRA, you look for A in other channels. So you see a signal, in the HES. Uh, the, like a signal in the HES and a signal of the coronary sinus. And if you see the, the relationship between this pacing to the to this atrial signal, it's quite constant. Okay? Yeah. So we're capturing the atrium. Are we conducting to the ventricle? 
So uh, there is, um, yeah, we are conducting through the ventricle as we have a V in the RVA. Okay, we see a V here, a V here, and a V here. Okay, good. So how are we conducting? Are we conducting through the AV node or are we conducting through somewhere else? So basically we will look for the, um, uh, the HV. Okay, so that's your HES. Yeah, the earliest so, V. Yeah. V is like is normal, so you're conducting through the AV node. Okay. Not. So are you capturing and conducting with every, so with this beat, you paste, you captured, and you conduct it to the V. Yeah. Same happened here. Same happened here. What is this? Yeah. So we have an early um, stimulus. Exactly. So what we started, like when we throw our extras, like mm. we, throw the, we throw the extras, like, and we bring the coupling interval to this. So with this coupling interval, are we capturing the A? Yeah, there is. Um, okay. So where yeah, is there is A in the HES. And... That's, okay. So don't, don't jump. So, mm. so let's look at the HES. So yeah. this is your A. This is your A, this is your H, this is your V, okay? Okay, okay. So this is your A, A, H, V, v. okay? This is your pacing. Did you capture any A? No, no. Because like, I know like you guys see the signal, you get fooled that this is actually an A, but it is mm. not. And if you see, like you saw the A here, a, a all the way in the coronary sinus, this A has nothing. Yeah. So that's what happens. When we bring the pacing stimuli very close, the first one will capture the atrium. When the second one comes, the atrium is in, is in the refractory and the, we will not capture the atrium. So this is what we call it like atrial refractory period. And like for fun, we say it like herb, like in the EP lab. But this is mm -hmm. what happens. This is the sequence when we do atrial extras at the beginning, we see the decrement. Then we see the jump if there is any. Then we see a block at the AV node. And then we get to that point, what we call the herb. So that's the normal, that's the normal expected behavior that we see in the EP lab when we pace in the atrium. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So don't jump into conclusion. Like I know like you can get fooled, but just like you have, you know that this is a V, this has to be a V, there is like no A. So Nasser, should we do another, because like I, 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 like I truly believe that after 45 minutes, like no one is going to keep, like is, uh, no one have an attention span longer than 45 minutes. So uh, like literally I have like four more cases. So just tell me a day, uh, like, and we can, we can finish it, we can finish it up. And then we do like more pathology, more and more pathology. So uh, are you guys okay? Because... The, the, one, the only reason that I don't want to keep going is uh, because it's all like the same theme. Like it just like it's all, if I do one, I have to do the other three after because like it's the same like train of thought. So I would rather stop now and I'll do this, the rest at another session. What do you okay. guys think? Okay. Um, uh, I thought to say that if you can do one or two, but since it's all... Man, no, like I, that, that's okay. okay. Uh, like I'm totally fine. Okay. So I, I received some some messages from the uh, the attendee want to continue at least like fifteen minutes more. Okay, I'm if happy. That's okay with you, or even even twenty minutes. I think I can finish the next part in fifteen minutes. Okay, so I I need a victim. Uh, okay, maybe. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. Yes, Dr. Fahad. Yeah, Dr. Saleh. This is a service uh, ECG. It's pacing written, basically. Uh, pacing in the RB, which is the, uh, the, the RB pacing. It's uh, the first activity in the, uh, in the HIS. Don't, don't cut corners. I know, uh, guys, Allah, this is how I learned. 
like it's so overwhelming at the beginning, just like we are pacing. You said like you're pacing in the ventricle. Are you capturing the ventricle? Yeah, okay. the capturing, yeah, yeah. Pacing the ventricle and capturing the ventricle uh, as we see in the service ECG. In service ECG, okay, good. Uh, so the next step, as you said, like how are you conducting to the next, to the, to the, uh, to the other chamber? So you are conducting, are you conducting to the A with every beat? Yes, uh, conducting the first, second, third, and the fourth. Okay, good. Conduct. So how are you conducting? We are conducting uh, uh, the first, uh, normally, for conducting retrograde through the, through the HES. Through the AV node. So, okay, yeah, so node. for a line, uh, yeah. your earliest activation is in the HES. The HES the and then the coronary sinus, for, uh, and the CS9 proximity. Yeah. And then they. Okay, so okay. like, so and like, you, there is always like about thirty milliseconds difference between the HIS to the HRA. But like, okay. uh, that that tells you if you have a right a right channel pathway. Okay, so what is different here? The difference in the last uh, the last beat. Uh, okay. There is a kist, I think a extra stimulus. Okay. And. <clears throat> So that's um, the VA and the VA, uh, I think it's a little bit prolonged. Nice, nice, very nice, very, very nice. Thank you. Like you, uh, like uh, this is what I want you to say. So this is your V. So when we measure to the, uh, like when we measure the interval from the V to the A, I think the, the, uh, the inclination is like you want to measure it to, the, to this A. But like this is, I don't want to say it's wrong, but like we always measure it to the earliest A. And your earliest A, uh, that yeah, is, yes. exactly. So, so this is like, uh, uh, so this is your uh, interval. So I would I love to put this like in a different uh, color. So, but uh, like it will uh, be confusing. Okay, so this is like your stimulus and your earliest A is probably here okay yeah so when whenever we see a change in the activation with the extra so the question that we want to ask ourselves like is it this so whenever we see a change so is it like uh, like in this case like we thought that the activation is like still central so the yes. question is it a jump like, because like what we think like of it, like we have a jump from anti-grade. So we know that like when we pace from the A, we could jump from a fast pathway to a slow pathway. This could also no. happen when you pace from the V, like it's the same two, two routes. Like, are you actually going from a fast to a, to a slow or something else has happened? Like, and what happens sometimes like you can get a block at the right point. So I will explain it to you. So this is what happened with the drive train. So like we pace, oh, I think uh, we have to use the animation because I spent time on it. So, so you pace at the RVA pit, like that's what we did. And the impulses goes through the AV node, through the right bundle to the AV node and that conducts to the HES. That's what we saw. Yes. But sometimes when you bring the extras, so this is what actually happens. So, uh, sorry, like this is like a, a slide that I just added. So you pace, you capture the ventricle, and the ventricle is this big QRS. So if there is a, uh, like, and this, through this QRS, like the conduction goes through the conduction system, and it goes through the, the, the AV node through the HES, but the HES is so tiny, you can't see it, and then the HES will conduct later to the A, and you can see the A at the, like at the HES, at the, at the HES bundle cap. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So sometimes what happens here, like as you mentioned, so like you, uh, like the stimulus, like uh, in the train, the V to the A was actually longer, like with the extra. So what happened with the extra? So what happened with the extra? So we paced, but like the refractory period of the right bundle is usually longer than the left bundle. And we could actually block at the right bundle. So the impulses have to travel from the right from the right ventricle into the left ventricle. This will cause about an 80 millisecond delay. 
and then it travels up through the AB node, uh, through the Hiss and through the AB node. So how, so how do we know this? So what happens like is the same schematic. So you pace, you capture the ventricle, you see the QRS, but like you cannot go back to the, to the atrium through the right bundle. So you have to cross to the left ventricle, go through the left, with the 80 millisecond delay, go through the left bundle and then reach the Hess. And now the Hess can be seen because it's outside the QRS complex. You had this 80 millisecond delay that like pushed the Hess away from the QRS so you may be able to see it. And this Hess then conducts to the A. So can we see, so we, as, like, as you mentioned, uh, uh, Saleh, you saw a change in the V to A. Is the change in the V to A because we went through the slow pathway within the Hiss, or it's because of a delay within the ventricle? So we actually go and look for okay. a We actually look yeah, for Yeah, and, and So we uh, no, we actually go and look for the Hiss signal. To the, to the Hiss, yes. And can I convince you that this is actually a Hiss? So this is your A, but this is actually your Hiss. And I'll show you like at the original tracing just to compare. I'll just show you at the original tracing. So we see this sometimes like in, uh, so if you see here, so this is like your drive train, like your pacing. This is your earliest A. But like now you moved your A away. Like here, you don't see, like this looks like very smooth. You don't see any spikes, but like here you can see a spike. So that tells me that what happened here is like is not a jump. The patient did not have a jump. What actually happened is a retrograde block at the right bundle. We see this quite often in the lab, and the impulse is jumped from the right side of the, the right ventricle into okay. the left ventricle and goes up. And the way that you can, uh, the, and that delay actually moved the Hiss away from the big QRS complex, so you can see it. Yes. And this is like your Hiss. So that, and all, like that tells you that this patient have does, uh, that, does, that tells you that the patient just have like a retrograde block at the right bundle that we see it quite often. But if there is any jump, the, they will not see the Hiss. Yes, exactly. That's a good point. So yeah. if you see a jump, like you will not see the Hiss. That's a good point. Thank you. Make sense? Yes. Sure. Um, Okay, what's this? Maybe Dr. Imad al-Din. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalamu alaikum. Imad al-Din, tafadda. Okay, um, there is the, uh, we have uh, ECG, then followed by intracardiac tracing. Um, we do a similar spacing from the RV. Okay. Uh, well, uh, there is the okay, there is the caption. There is a passing with the RV activity. So we're capturing the V. So pacing, we're capturing the V with every beat. Right. Okay. Yes. So now the question: Are we conducting to the A? Yes, there is RA activity in the in the high R high HRA. Okay, so this beat conducts to this? Yes, okay. it's A. Where is and how are we conducting back to the atrium? Are we conducting through the AV node or are we conducting with somewhere different? So the early activity. Uh, Draw line the, Yes. So the earliest activity is within the Hess distal? Yes. So we are conducting through the AV node. AV node, yes. Okay. That's concentric activation. So, right. so here uh, with this beat, we conducted. Yes, until beat. the fourth okay. beat. 
Okay. Then, then we lost the. Uh, we lost the we lost conduction. So that yes. that's what we expect. As I mentioned, from the A to the V, whenever we bring the extra closer, Similar. like yes. we can get like a jump, or we can get a retrograde block, and then we can get a block. And if you bring it even closer. Uh, what do you see here? I'll just, I'll just finish up with you. Okay. So what, what do we have here? Okay, so uh, here also we have a passing from the RV. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is a stimulus after each uh, passing. Mm -hmm. uh, there is atrial activity in the high RA. The early stimulus uh, there is a stimulus in the in the his. It is. I have to tell you, it is very tough to say because, like, if you look, if you look at this type of the tra uh, this uh, side of the tracing, I, I don't think that the gain is really good, because if you see, this is. I think this is your A, this is your his, and this is your V. So it uh -huh. is very tough to tell where is the A. I have to be honest with you. So okay. I don't think that I'm gonna fault you like for saying like, I don't know, please get me a better HES. If we are in okay. the lab, we actually, we, we move the catheter just to get a better HES signal because you don't have a good contact. Okay. Uh, but I think the message here is, what about yes. this one? Yes, we love the activity after that, after we bring the extra stimulus at the third beat to the A. Yep. Third beat. Fourth beat in the V. In the so V. In the V. And we yeah. lost capture. So right. that's what happens. You so we reach the ventricular refractory period. So that's what happens when you bring the coupling interval like very close. So you get what okay. we call the verb. Like you that this is when we stop pacing. Uh, okay. So I think Nasser. Uh, uh, do you want to do one for fun? Let's do, uh, where is it? Last one. Uh, I want to do one for fun. Okay, yeah, this is fun. Okay. Nasa, can I take it? Sure. Yes, Dr. Oh, Saleh? Hey, Saleh, here. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So Saleh, let's break it. Let's, let's, uh, so when you have a lot going on, just break it into pieces. So let's yeah. talk about this. Then we'll talk about this. Okay. 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 Let's talk about this first. First, there is, um, <clears throat> uh, there is, uh, orient yourself. One by this, one. This is, yeah, this is a uh, service ACG. Okay. Which is, looks uh, RV, RV basing. Okay. So we're okay. based from the RV. Yeah, so RV. Capturing the RV. Is it like, it looks like more as a straight pacing rather than extras. Yes, straight okay. pacing and uh, there is no extra. Uh, no. And capturing in the last, uh, in the, the, the first three beats and the last two beats is uh, it's native, I think. Native. Okay, so we'll talk about them in a second. So let's talk about these. Okay, so we're pacing from the RV. Okay, are we yeah. cap? So we said like we're capturing. Are we conducting to the A? Yes, we conducting the A with H. We're conducting to the A. Okay, now the question is, how are we conducting from the V to the A? But we are conducting from the V to the A. The first activity, I think, in the C one and. Uh, one and two. Okay, so we're conducting from the CS. So yeah. this is your V, this is your A. So we're conducting from the coronary sinus. So are we yeah. going through the AV node? And this is ahead of the HES, and this is ahead of your HRA. Are we yeah. going through the AV node or are we going through somewhere else? Some, something else, somewhere else. So we're going through what? Through the lateral. This is in C1 and the, the earliest uh, atrial activity uh, recorded in the C1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we're going through an accessory pathway, like it's more... Natural. 
at like a left lateral accessory left path. Lateral, yes. Okay, so yes. what happens here? This happens again, this happens again. Okay, so this is your A. So what happens after? So like here we, we have proven that we have like a, an accessory pathway that conducts retrogradely from the V to the A. And it looks like a left lateral accessory pathway. So what happened to this A? What did this A do? Okay. This is a, uh, this is uh, looks, uh, actually it is conducted from the, from the previous, this is uh, A. Okay, from, so this beat, this beat, yes. Gave me RV. this A. Yeah, and this is from the RV beat. Okay, so what did this A do? This is, this is very, uh, so no, just like, did this A conduct or not? Yeah, this A, uh, no, yeah, and it conducted, uh, this, the, the, the B conducted, but the A is uh, not conducted. Uh, sorry, so you said that this, so this V conducts to this A, okay? Yeah, yeah. And what what is this beat? This beat is a, a native beat. Sorry? Native, not beast. Native. Okay, it's, good. It's, native, but like you yeah. see a QRS. Where did yeah. this, the BVC? Yeah, this is BVC. Uh, uh, is it a BVC? So it this is... Uh, and this this is, is a, the, if you if you see that this is a very a QRS complex, the earliest uh, activity in the atria, it is retrograde activity. Okay, so let's take it step by step. So what, ha so like you're saying that this A blocked, so this A did not do anything. Yeah. I knew that this, so this is like, so let's see, this is A, this is, what is this? This is uh, this is H. Okay, so could this A conduct to this? This is very prolonged. It's A's. possible. Yeah. Okay, so that means that your A H is this long. Okay. Yeah. This is A H this long. That means looks like. Uh, okay, so okay, let's stop. This is another beat. Yeah. And this is like your earliest A is where? Yeah, yeah. This and, is a sinus. Uh, that's this is sin this this is sinus. Okay. Yeah. And this is your A in the Hess. Oh, this and this is H. Uh, and that's your V. So compare this AH to this AH. This is very prolonged. Yeah, so you have a jump. Jump, you, yes, definitely, yes, sure. So you have a slow pathway. So this V gave you an A, and this A conducts to this V through a slow pathway, and then what is this? This is a retrograde V. Retrograde through where? Through the, uh, uh, the first uh, activity, it should be A. The first activity as in the coronary sinus. Exactly. So what happens is, so you're pacing from the V. So this is like has like has multiple component. So you're pacing from the V. So this the last paced V got to the A through the pathway, through sure. a left -hand pathway, and then this A got down to the V through the slow pathway, through the AV node, through the slow pathway. When it got to the V, you got one beat of tachycardia. So it yeah. went back up to the A through the pathway and through the accessory pathway and then it stopped. And yeah. then like here you have like a sinus beat. Sinus like beat with, without, uh, with, with uh, normal battery. Yeah, with normal conduction. Yeah, so it's normal like conduction. component, but like you don't want to get carried away. You just like start like with, like just break it down into pieces, but like, and you did very well. But like I know, like when you see this, like you're wondering, could this actually conduct to this? this or not? Yes, but I think I think the most plausible uh, mechanism because you have a Hess. Because like the one thing is, so a PVC. So let's say if you have a PVC, 
would you expect the his to be activated before the V or no? Just think of it. If we have PVC? Yes. So if you have a PVC, an impulse that is coming from the, from ventricle, the ventricle, would you, Usually. Expect, would you expect the HES to be before the V or it has no relationship? Yeah. No, it should be the, from, the, from the V to the HES. Yes, so exactly. So your HV is not going to be normal. You see my yeah. point? Yes. So here your HV is normal. So the other differential diagnosis, I didn't want to confuse you guys. So yes. when you have a short HV, we think about an accessory pathway because you are bypassing the HES. But if you have a BVC, you could have a, a, an HV that is very short or negative because the impulse is actually starting within the ventricle. It has no relationship to the HES. So this, is, this cannot be a BVC. Could it be a junctional yeah. beat? It could be a junctional. That's a really good point. But like, where is the fun? If this is a junctional, come on. Like this, like, so you have like, so all of a sudden, like you blocked. So sometimes like you have to think about like the, uh, uh, your, like your theory is as good as mine, but like you have to tell me that like uh, as a coincidence, like you, you blocked your A and all of a sudden after you blocked your AV conduction, you had a junctional, a junctional ectopic beads. This junctional ectopic beads conduct back through an accessory pathway. I don't think it makes sense. I think it's plausible, but I think the better explanation that you have an actual like a re-entry V to the A, A to the V, V to the A. Uh, and th th this is like a sinus beat. Uh, I have a question. Yes, Toba. The, the, the fourth, uh, HRA, the fourth beat. This one? Yes, exactly. Okay. It's a re retrograde activated uh, A wave, right? Yes. It, does it have to, I mean, to be conducted and again integrate? Or this is the end? Like the previous one, the previous three, or retrograde? Yes. I, I think the cycle should stop. Why did it stop? Like the previous three as well. Oh, because like the thing is, so if you see like, uh, okay. You're pacing, you're exactly. pacing, then there's the retrograde P, then pacing, retrograde P. Okay, good. So let's look at the V. So this is like your A, and this is your pacing, okay? So like this, no, so the, yeah, no, no, the opposite. No, no, I just want to show you. So, so you conducted to the A, okay? And if you gave enough time to this, this will probably have, will be conducted. So if we gave enough time, we probably will be, we'll see this. But what happens each time we want the, the this A wanted to conduct, like it faces the, 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 uh, the current, like a, I wish that I, uh, okay, do you guys want to see how I do like my uh, graphics? So let's, I'll show you how I'll do it. So I can explain things to you. Oh, no, this is not the one. I want the one with the pathway. Just give me a second. I think I have one with the pathway. Because I want to explain it to you because I think what happens is, okay, good. So, what is, what is happening is, I think this is like a, probably like a, a, a better representation of what we have in that case. So, uh, oh, I didn't have the pathway. What is it? Okay, good. So this is like more or less like our case. So what happens like when we pace here, impulses goes up through here, and that gives us our A, but impulses will go through the AV node at the same time. Okay? So when okay. this impulse wanted to conduct, like uh, when the impulse like gets to here, like we pace again, so we get like a point of collision here. So they collide here. So what, what you see is only this. 
because like uh, like when the A wanted to, to, to turn around, like it will collide here because the AB node, the, the impulses are going this way and the A is coming this way and it will die here and you will not, you will not see it. But like when we stop pacing, so the impulses went down, like there is like no new pacing coming through and then the A conducts and it went down the V to the V, like it went down through the slow pathway and then like it went back up and it stopped. Does it make sense? Yes. So the last pace, uh, pacing it will cause two beats. Yes. So the last pacing went up through the pathway, down through the slow pathway, and then went back up through the accessory pathway, and then it stopped. So like you had like a re-entry, like you have a you had like you had one run of AVRT. That's what happened with AVRT. Went down and up, down and up. That's your AVRT. <clears throat> Very clear. Yes, very clear. Thank you very much. I forgot to ask the question. I just want to make sure that it's clear. Yes, uh, I have. Uh, I have question, boss. Can we really, uh, back to the the, the the tracing? The actual tracing. Okay. Yeah. This is the one, huh? Yeah, that's the one. <clears throat> but like I, you, I like I modify it a lot. Like I put like some boxes just like to just to make it fun. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we say this. This is the 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 the, 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 the before the last one. Uh, like you mean this one? This one, yes. Yes. What is your question, Salah? Okay. No, where is the tracing? Yes, now. Um, the, my question is: so this this uh, this uh, this beat it is not BBC because if it is BBC, will will the the HV will be very very small. Yes. Over, yeah. So this is a considerable number. Same. So what is the probable? Uh, this is conducted from this, and this again to this, or or what? Yeah. Okay. So Saleh. So I think what happened, Saleh. So here. Like it's tough, well, uh, that's why I think like with like when we uh, when we like when we get when things get like clouded like uh, when uh, like in our rounds we actually we go and draw it. So uh, uh, so this V got to the A through the pathway. We agreed on that. This is very simple. Yes, yeah. And I, my my thinking boss can uh, yeah, this A this is the last one uh, before the, the last one this is the one yes 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 no no the, uh, this A okay. conducted but with very uh, uh, very uh, uh, long HV long okay. H HV not HV. Uh, A H yeah. sorry A H sorry A H A H long A H that you went through what yes uh, this Just went open. through. Yeah, again through the coronary sinus. Yes. And, and coronary sinus, and then back again to the atria. Looks like echo like this. Yes. So exactly. So the but the, so the echo. Yani a a. Yani it's the beat itself. Yes. So that's that, that's a good that's a good question. So when we talk about an echo, we have an AV nodal echo beat that went back through the AV node. And we have an AV echo beat that went through a pathway. This is like, this is, a, this is a, an excellent question. So this is an echo beat that when, this is an AV echo beat. So a like you have like a one run of tachycardia, but the echo did not go through the AV node. The echo is actually went through the pathway. So this is an AV echo beat. It's not an AV nodal echo beat because you use the pathway. That's an excellent pathway. question. Oh, okay. I need to make sure from this. Thank you, Os. Okay. Next uh, one, next last question, Os. Uh, anyone have questions? No, next uh, case. No, I, I think that's what I have. <laughs>